Welcome, Dandelion. You're in luck, freebies today, but you still have to pay for a tag team. Darai, this is Witcher Geralt. We just want to talk. Tell us who used this room most recently. Margot and me. Margot? The madam. What is it you want? Triss Marigold. Red-headed sorceress. She was in the next room. Do you know what happened to her? We, we weren't spying. I know nothing. There's no need to be scared. Just tell us what you saw. I know you looked through the people. Margot was nervous about the holiday. She told the girls to give freebies today. Then she took me to my room and we made love. Just as I was... I was, well... When we heard voices and Margot started spying, it was the sorceress and Cedric. Are you sure? Yes. We started fighting for the people, but finally Margot let me take a peek. Tris said she was going to see who the Ice Queen had spoken to recently. She approached the mirror and whispered something. There was a flash and a terrible looking man popped out of the mirror. What did he look like? Like a worm. A hungry old worm. Huh. I wonder... Tris was aghast and the worm said, Why so pale, Marigold? Have you seen a ghost? Then he smiled maliciously, and... Why so pale, Marigold? Seen a ghost? What is it now? Greetings, Death Mold. I wondered who Sheila had been talking to recently. Spying on each other, eh? That's new. What's your business? What did Sheila want from you? Why would I tell you? Because you hate her and only dislike me. You wouldn't miss the tiniest chance to make her life miserable. <laughs> You're right. Sheila wants to unsaddle me to take my place at Henselt's side. Henselt hates sorceresses. Henselt lost his son and is having problems siring an heir. He is no longer a young man. She promised him offspring, said she'd guarantee a child if he finds a young, strong woman. He just need to... Uh... I know where children come from. Prove she's lying, and I'll be most appreciative. I can't, which means you've got a problem. Slow down. I still play first fiddle, you know. I'm pursuing the Kingslayer. Maybe you've heard something. Oh, that gives me the chills. Whoever he is, he's done for. You'll change your mind when the Kingslayer nails your ruler. Marigold, think as befits a mage, because right now you bring shame to all sorcerers. Foltest is dead. It's your fault, and as rumor has it, your Witcher lovers too. You don't believe that. What I believe matters little. The rumors do. You and your Witcher are finished in Temeria. Unless you catch the culprit. What's Henselt up to? Are you out of your mind, Marigold? Be glad I'm even talking to you. I need to know what's going on. Help me, Deathmold, and I'll return the favor. You know nothing useful to me, and I don't want your graces. You don't tickle my fancy. You've heard that Philippa has left Redania? Yes. Yeah. Do you know where she is? I do. But first, you'll answer my question. Fine. A single question in exchange for information on Philippa. What are Hansel's political plans? <laughs> You're insolent, Marigold, but I gave you my word. Hansel wants to wrestle the Pontar Valley from Edda, and to force that weed Stennis to swear fealty. Prince Stennis Demaven's heir. The same. Edda, bereft of the Pontar Valley, will become a principality dependent on Kedwin. Your turn. Philippa's in Vergen, a small town near the Kedweni Adurnian border. I know its location very well. The remnants of Eren's army have assembled there, led by a lass said to have killed a dragon. Who's the girl? She commands a rabble of peasants, poor noblemen, and non-humans. Even Prince Stennis Demaven's son can't disregard her. But that's of no consequence. Henselt will trample those vermin and chase them off with whips. What's Philippa doing there? Telling you won't pay off, Deathmold. You know too little. Farewell. That's all. I didn't hear or see anything else. What happened to Triss and Cedric? I've no idea. Margot pushed me away to get a peek herself. But I heard a smash 
shouting and a fight. Margot covered the people with a picture she was pale and told me to keep my mouth shut. We sat for a while and left only when all was quiet. Margot went to her room and I haven't seen her since. But I noticed Cedric staggering away down the alley that leads towards the forest. Dandelion, wait here. I'm going to find Cedric. What about Marga? Right. We should look for her first. Cedric's blood. I just need to follow it. And stood by her tub. Punch his lights out! Ever heard of doing it witch and strigger style? <laughs> no, tell me. He down the flap. Damn, we're too late. Why did she? Doubt we'll ever know. I'm getting Cedric. <laughs> 